So what I'm going to do is show you um, some places where you can find these little guys. And uh, I realize this isn't a professional <laughs> uh, production, so some of the stuff won't turn out that nice, but I want to give you just an idea. Um, this site here, papermodels, um, papermodels.com, modelers, I'm sorry, .com, is a great site for someone going to look and see what's going on and all kinds of uh, forums about um, how to build things, um, how to download things. There's a whole section of free downloads to get some of these models. And you have different model builds in various things like aviation and uh, dioramas and civilian wheels, it says, all kinds of stuff. And I'll click on aviation because that's what I'm familiar with. But you come down here and you see, for instance, uh, you know, can these things look any good? Well, check this thing out. This is a Ki-84 by a fellow named Ricardo that is absolutely fantastic. Um, let's see if we can find a really nice shot uh, showing you a, a, a better picture of this thing. Um, when you look at this model, you are hard pressed to tell that it is anything other than uh, a, a beautiful machine. I mean, this will this will will do. Um, you know, you can't see it that well, but good lord, um, this is all paper. And these little places here are things that are drawn on to the actual the little chips and things are drawn on. The interior is fantastic in there. Um, little holes for exhausts and various things that go on here. Here's a tab that's going to put the rest of the fuselage on there. Um, but this is this is a, a, a piece of art when you when you see what this person has done. Um, there's another shot from the other side. And then when you look at something like, there's the interior and the wheel wells. I hope this shows up okay. But goodness gracious, landing gear, wheel wells, um, everything looks absolutely wonderful. When this thing is done, um, except for little special specific pieces, you, you won't be able to tell that this is a plastic, or I'm sorry, this is a paper model. Um, so go to a site like this one, because this has lots of friendly people who are willing to help and want to um, you know, perpetuate the hobby. Um, so go to this site is a good place to start. Um, when I started looking around for these, I also found a couple places like this one was called this paper model store. And this person, I think, is out of Chicago, and they sell all kinds of Polish paper card models. And you can, you know, click around here and you can see it's easy to navigate. And we'll look at aircraft because that's what I'm familiar with. Um, but it breaks it down into what kinds of things you want. Uh, here's World War II aircraft. Tons and tons of things. I mean, you know, is there a a a one thirty second scale uh, um, uh, model that you could find in here? I mean, there's tons. There aren't any. 172nd scale uh, twin Mustangs, but here you can build one out of paper, and I guarantee you it would look really nice with a little bit of practice. All these models, or a lot of them, are strange scales to me anyway. This one, for instance, is in 133rd scale, um, but that's close to 132nd, and you can also adjust things if you want to. Um, but if you buy these, they're very, uh, they come as little booklets, and I'll show you one up close in a little bit here. Um, they're very respectable. This one's nine, ten dollars, and uh, it's um, um, th this particular place. Boy, it's quick service, and you get a great model when you're done. Um, then there are places where you can download um, um, actual, um, um, well, download people's designs. So this place is called eCardmodels.com. And again, we'll go into aircraft military, and we'll look at um, World War One. Let's say there's 623 potential World War One airplanes, and you look down here, and there are all kinds of scales. These are one one hundredth, but you can you can go to uh, let's say this particular designer, and you can find you know where can you find 
a one thirty second scale uh, a one thirty second scale albatross uh, like this. I, I venture it doesn't exist, or you build it from scratch. Um, I happen to have this model, and I'd like to build it pretty soon. But um, what you do is you 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 send away you 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 buy the download. They're very inexpensive. They're three dollars, five dollars, and you get the download that you then uh, print out and make your own kit. By the way, if you buy uh, an original sort of magazine um, model, what you should do is go ahead and um, scan all those places, all those pieces. And then you have things left over for when things go wrong, which you know they they may in fact go wrong, and you can reprint them. It's a great way to archive everything. Um, and then there's another site from a fellow in Bulgaria, and he has beautiful models again of uh, anything you want. Um, really uh, uh, nice models. There's a, a really neat uh, Mustang, early Mustang, that just looks fantastic. These stores are all more like than not. This particular fellow has um, some interesting things like this model art. Um, um, there's one called model art which are oh, up here is what it says model art, but th these have some really nice kits um, that I enjoyed putting together um, and they really fit well and they're just the right amount of detail and um, they're pretty nice. So, and these are all again, you, you download them. So there's lots and lots of possibilities um, that you can, you can use. And um, not to be outdone, there are also free sites. Like this is a site called Landships 2. Landships 2, I believe, is mostly about um, uh, mostly about um, artillery and tanks from the First World War. But they do have airplanes, but also they have great tanks. And here are some, a bunch of designers over here. There's a fellow named Wayne McCulloch. And these are all free, downloadable tanks. And then here are some airplanes. Um, for those of you who've seen this rigging uh, diagram, or an airplane that I rigged, this is the where I downloaded those from. Completely free plans to download um, and print out and, and, and do your thing. So it's a great way to go in here and you know, try something and be have, have very little investment in it. But he's also got some really cool stuff like here are these, these heavy tanks from World War One that would be so cool to put together. This one is particular. I think I downloaded this one. I, think I, I like that one. Um, but you can go ahead and do these for free. Um, and you have to find a site, speaking of free, that says free and that is, is recognized as free. In other words, because of the nature of paper models, it's super easy to pirate these things, of course, because you scan them and you put them out there. Basically, if you can find a model someplace um, that says it's for free, but it's, some, it's also a model that's being sold somewhere, it's not free. You're stealing from those designers, so don't do that. Um, but for something like this, a great way to um, uh, get involved and, and start these kinds of things. But there's other little uh, um, things like uh, other, other sites that have other cool things. Like this one has all kinds of really neat motorcycles and um, you know interesting things. It's got these really neat cards. These are fold-out cards that you can make. They're fun for children, and they're fun to... I, I made one of these for a, a friend of mine in Norway. They turned out really great. Um, so you can do so much with paper, and again, these are these happen to, uh, to be free. And uh, so what you really do is you search around, and you will find these things. Um, uh, uh, um, there's one I want to show you. Dang it. Oh, I guess this one. This one has these really neat animals. And anyway, here's an elephant, but it's got tons and tons of neat things over here. This is all in Dutch, I believe, but uh, my son loves insects, and so um, I downloaded a couple of these insects. I built him, I made him this guy over here, which is a big beetle with these big long antenna. Turned out great, a neat Christmas present, a lot of fun to make, he enjoyed it. So the point is, Start off with some of these websites. If you want to try a paper model for free, go to some of these places and look them up. But just make sure they truly are free. Uh, and then, you know, go to these stores and buy these things. Um, 
if you want a ship and you want a military ship so you can find a military ship um, I built this one for example this one turned out really nice I gave it to my mother it's the uh, CSS Virginia of, of Monitor and Merrimack fame um, again inexpensive um, puts together into a really nice model um, she has it sitting on her in her uh, house on her dresser um, so by all means um, give these a try and it's easy to get started and get into it um, not difficult whatsoever and so some more videos will show you basically uh, how to get started on building a specific model that um, I wanted to build from a designer that I like um, this guy is uh, from Poland I believe I hope I'm right about that um, he builds uh, or he makes really nice really nice models and they are um, uh, to me the right amount of, of, of structure and yet also um, uh, you're letting the paper do its stuff. In other words, sometimes some of these models are, to me, not enough structure to make a really, um, a really nice model. They tend to sort of be um, um, weak, in my opinion, or I didn't put them together right, uh, which you know could very well be the case. Um, but look at these. These are one fiftieth or about one forty-eight scale Bettys that you can buy. Um, just fantastic stuff for six dollars. It doesn't get much better than that. Um, but we are going to try to put together um, one of these uh, to be a uh, sort of a, um, a, a companion of that Polish fighter that I had because it was a fighter that was uh, around in uh, during the Polish campaign. And so I thought I need to find uh, an adversary for that. And so I uh, ended up finding this one and purchasing it for all of $6.95. And it is a uh, BF109E. And this is the one that we will start to put together very soon.